Hello world. Mr. Resistor here, continuing our alpha journey. So, uh, where are we at today? Eh, not a great booster. No reason to use it now, though. We got we finished signature analysis and warp drive operation, and we are working on light drone operation. On our way to T2 drones. Um, since it is a skilling spree day, I'm going to knock out a mission real quick just to get those skill points. Then, if I remember correctly, the plan was to head out to Malakar, pick up some of the ship holes we left out there, and um, <coughs> put together a probe um, to go out and do some probe drive active. exploration. things up a little bit just so we can get in range. some salvage while we wait for these guys to get here. I try to always remember to check that is Pyrexeries, which um, it's not particularly special, but uh, if we're looking here at our harvesting, um, it's hard to find in Minmatar space. Some other faction spaces you just find it in regular asteroid belts, but I don't ever see it around here, so. Um, but you will sometimes see it in dead space sites. So when that's the case, 
it can maybe be worthwhile once you finish the mission to come back in a venture and uh, grab some of it, at least to complete that. Um, every once in a while, you'll also see um, some low sec ores in high sec dead space. So like Omber and uh, maybe Carnite. Both of those can be worth quite a bit, uh, especially Kernite. Um, well, both of them, but I see Kernite more often as uh, um, necessary to turn in for certain um, uh, storyline missions. Those that'll, those are the ones that give you. Uh, big reputation increases with um, with the faction itself, right? So, um, you know, doing this mission will give me uh, rep with uh, Boundless Creations, well, mainly with the agent that I'm doing the mission for, secondarily with Boundless Creations, uh, which is the corporation he works for. Um, and then a little tiny bit um, for Min Matar, which is the faction that Boundless Creations uh, belongs to. Um, But a storyline mission can give you a, a big bump in all of those. So, um, they're usually at least worth considering. Um, I generally don't take the ones that require me to go up against another corporation, right? So there's, um, there's one I see pretty regularly from Min Matar, uh, where you have to go against Amar. Um, not only because that means reputation loss with Amar, but also because those can be some pretty tough fights. Um, uh, the the storyline combat missions. Um, I usually have to bring in my combat character in his um, <coughs> battleship that's fitted for T4 missions. Um, to do those. And maybe that's just because I'm not particularly good at fighting an Eve, you know, that's certainly an argument, um, but that's been my experience, so, um, since this is an alpha noob, uh, experience, um, we don't have access to that, <laughs> even though we are technically in that corporation, um, at some point in the future, um, after I move and have a decent secondary computer that I can, uh, play and record on, I might try to do some fleet stuff. Um, whoops. Wrong button. <laughs> uh, 
Um, <clears throat> in fact, well, I'll kind of have to if I want to if I want to do any of the uh, uh, the fleet support stuff. Um, in the uh, career program. Yay! We just paid for our new exploration ship. Sweet. Don't forget to reload. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ultra fast silo? What does that even mean? So, looking at the 
new Eve expansion that got released. Uprising. Seems cool. Um. <clears throat> Uh, I haven't done Faction Warfare in a long time, so I don't know uh, how much of a difference it's actually going to make. Hard to say. Easy to say for someone who has uh, participated in that stuff, I guess. But we will find out. Um, because Faction Warfare is on our docket. But, let's see, looking at the description, looks like there's going to be some new ships, uh, some balance changes to existing ships. Corporation and Alliance logos on your vessels. Uh, that's cool. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. So, the first narrative arc has already begun with discovery of an abandoned Eden comp structure after its cloak began failing over a storm planet in the system of Athenon. Capsulators have also found mysterious construction sites across space with some believing these to be stellar harvesters and stargates being independently constructed by the empires, leaving the tenuous peace between them at risk. real quick. Very good. What's our cargo capacity looking like? Excellent. And <coughs> away we go.
I have not seen any of these construction sites yet, um, as far as I know. Guess we'll find out. Um, maybe we'll run across some while we're uh, while we're doing our exploration. Your involvement will help shape New Eden, New Eden by revealing fresh features to help in future battles. I do kind of hope that they'll <coughs> have some... Uh, Um, <clears throat> some content that's driven by by player choices. Um, there was a Web drive active. Shadowrun uh, MMO. Name escapes me right now. It was not Shadowrun Returns, because um, that's not an MMO. Um, yeah, and eh, barely it it was barely an MMO. It was I don't know, not a Not on the level that I would like from that IP, let's just put it that way. <laughs> but, um, one of the Red things drive, they did active. that was very cool <laughs> was that, um, at the final boss battle, I believe it was, in the, um, in the original game, uh, at the end, you had a choice that you had to make. Um, and that choice um, <clears throat> they they kept track of what choice all the players made as they uh, when they completed that uh, that mission. And basically took those as a boat active. that determined uh, what happened in the expansion. Um, <clears throat> that was something I always thought was pretty cool. Um, I thought it would be it would be nice to be able to construct a game that way. <clears throat> I don't know if CCP is planning on doing something similar, but I think it would be cool. Warp drive active. Okay, anyway. Your involvement will help shape New Eden by revealing fresh features to help in future battles, including brand new ships in game, some of which will be unveiled much sooner than others. The introduction of these new ships will increase the diversity of tools available to a wide array of capsuleers, from those just starting their journey to more established veterans, while bringing some serious visual intimidation to battlefield. Um, and I dig the graphic that they got active. at this point. It looks like 
could be a probe or a cheetah. I'm not knowledgeable enough to tell the difference between them at first glance. Um, but uh, rendered in, a, in an interesting way. Kind of reminds me of... Um, like early 80s computer graphics, but it's um, clearly, I mean, it's done in a more modern way, so. Warp drive active. see so they are reworking complexes new advantage functionality that allows you to give your chosen faction an edge in faction warfare could be cool this part of the expansion aims to evolve faction warfare into a more intense and exciting combat playstyle for fw enthusiasts there will be more incentives to support and fight for your favorite Higher. wider array of opportunities to contribute to the war effort drive war active. and new events will be introduced creating more possibilities for Empire Station campaign objectives to those who enlist interesting significant update that includes factional allegiance targeted for Q1 of 2023. This will allow players to aid a faction in faction warfare irrespective of corporation or alliance. Warp drive active. Drive active. drive active <clears throat> preview of hangar changes looks like you'll be able to see other ships I don't know if those just your own or other ships that are docked there
does look very cool though. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. All right, so looks like new ships are being unveiled this month. Sounds cool. And UI changes next month. Hopefully. They reduce the uh, margins around all of the labels and stuff so that the UI takes up or wastes less space. <clears throat> I don't mind it taking up space as long as that space is actually useful. All right, anyway. that. civilian modules we can pretty much just trash. They're not really worth anything. So we will repackage this guy. Got plenty of this. I think we will 
I'll sell it. Price. <clears throat> uh, let's see, anything else that people here will probably want. this all right so wreath or the adventure uh, and the probes Losing ten. What is that happening? Five hundred. Five thousand. Ten. Oh, right. Duh. Okay. <coughs> All right. Let's see what else we can squeeze in here. the other wreath. But we can grab the thrasher. And maybe the burst. That should put us yeah. Alright. <clears throat> now let's grab this stuff. what I expected. <clears throat> All right. Back to heck. Orb drive active. Drive active.
warp drive active. Warp drive active. Warp drive active. Warp drive active. Warp drive active. Warp drive active. Panic system looks interesting. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
they say supply missions and friendly propaganda structures are active, so that suggests maybe distribution, mining, warp drive active, um, maybe even salvage activities would contribute. Drive active. Mm, the advantage system will also allow a variety of new objectives to be introduced to faction warfare without the need to develop new systems, which means way more exciting upcoming challenges for you to tackle. That's good. It's always good <coughs> when the developer takes steps to make it easier for them to add more content. <coughs> In fact, helping developers do that is literally my job. Docking permission so requested. I can appreciate the uh, amount of time, effort, and thought that's necessary to achieve that. Docking request accepted. <coughs> new advantage system play out in the first narrative arc which will become part of the narrative prelude to further upcoming factional warfare changes some of you have already risen to the call from empire leaders and have helped discover and decipher clues scattered throughout new eden that provide intelligence on how events are progressing goal with arcs is to make the universe gradually change, which you can notice and even take part on. We'll be going into more details on the status of first arc and narrative-driven development later, but if you'd like to keep track of how things are playing out in those factions, participate in the storyline, and speculate on how ultimately this will impact factional warfare, if you can follow the new Eden news on Twitter and keep peeled for clues. Oh, maybe I should follow that. Okay. 
Okay. So it's got Manitograbum. Commission scope. It's an in range bending array. Warp core stabilizer. Okay, so hardware. Let's. All right, so there's the question of do we want to run a warp core stabilizer? Even though that'll limit how many drones we can have out. Um, might not be a terrible idea, but at the same time, it can be kind of difficult to manage that in the field if we want to have it offline most of the time. That's a tough call. Also, these guys improve our line time which yeah so we're gone from six seconds down to four now the other thing we might want to consider is a Look, do we have that capability? dangerous then. say I'm a Minotaur loyalist. Um, but also I think just generally they do a pretty good job. Alright, well, let's then
just over an hour, so I think for now we will call it a day. Um, and tomorrow uh, once we've got our points we will jump out into the unknown with uh, one of these needle jacks see how it goes. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right? <laughs> Guess we'll find out. Alright, well, until next time, have a good one.